าปรบพิธีบนโดยทาพิธีควบในติเวียโดยทาติเวียบนรุมลึกควบในทั้งไงมาพยบตลามาปอนปมรอยกาสมุยคือเจโดยถ้าควบเลือกตีมาเผยผมใบชนามหายในกิจปรมเปลียงสันติเพียบติกรองปริดาลปฏิกรรมปุจีบานตัวตัวในศกสันติเพียบพอยเมียนกาบงรูปบงรวมเชียดในเปโนเพียกีกัมปุจีบานเป็นจอบสังเครียมเพียกีแตงอุ่นเมียนแตงขมายกระหอมเพียกีรอดกัมปุจีให้นางเพียกีสมดายเออหรือก็คางโลกเซนซานในบานรูปรวมเคลียดอัมใบนางเป็นจอบสังเครียมบานในทั้งไงนี้สเพียอเมริกันคือเมียนโลกอลันโลเวนโซลได้เชียเนี่ยตำนางเรียนในขนมซาลาดำเด็กนี้ให้นางโลกสติลชาบดเชียเนี่ยตำนางเรียพองได้นางโจรวมทลายกาแตะตรงแต่นางคูบเลือกตีมาพยปมใบในทีวีโดยท่าปรบคูบแตะตรงแต่นางสันทิสัญญาสันติเพียบที่กรงปารีสนี้บัดหายนางเมียนเวียคมินมวยจำนวนเซนเทียคือโดยเชียในยุคองกาเราบอกวิจิตรธรรมวิจิตรปฏิมุ่ยคืออันดีไอคนหนึ่งเตยจอรวมทลายกาพองได้คือชีวิตมันพองได้นี่บัตามกลุ่มโรงกาแต่บานเคยหายมุ่ยเทียก็เคยทาเมียนโดยเฉพาะสกามจุนโดยทาในขนมซาลาดำเด็กนี้ชีชาลรูปเซนเทียได้แต่เตยหนึ่งจอรวมทลายกาโดยเฉพาะโลกหยับกำตึงปฏิญองกาสติมนุขารัตในขนมรัฐวิจิญาพระองค์บทบุญติงได้เฉพาะประเดจุนได้เชื่อสกามจนสกามจนคางโดยท่าภายในประซองก็นังเตยเจ้ารวมทลายโดยท่าสันตะกธาหรือก็ทลายกานังนิมนทลายกาปีเรื่องเซงเซงเตะตรงเตยนังควบเลือกตีมาเผยผมใบในทีวีบนเตะตรงเตยนังกิจปรงเพียงสันตะเพียบที่กรงปารีพองได้หอยเนี่ยสไลเจนัตเซงมาปีรอดเพนเซเวเนียที่กรงเฟลาเดฟชาก็เชื่อสกามจุนขณะปะสังกรูจิตมือรูปพองได้นั่งจอรวมพองได้ในที่นี้ให้ลูกสไลกุมพลก็นั่งเชียร์เวียคมินพองได้ให้ในที่นี้ขยมบาดเคยมีนบองปอนปิจิปรอขมายได้สลันปฏิจิตปฏิกรรมปิจิจิจารรูปก็นั่งจอรวมในขนมกาปิพิซาเตะตรงเตยนังเรื่องมาพายใบตัวลาในได้ให้กัญญาคำมโนวิชาได้เชียกอนสไลระบอโลกรรมสขาให้เชียมันตรีจวงกบูในคณะปะสังกฤชิตก่อนึงทลายกาพองได้อัมปีปัญหาเตะตรงแต่นังนโยบายกัมพูชีเตะตรงแต่นังกิจปรมเปลียงสินธิสัญญาที่กรุงปารีสจังปรีมดอาหนึ่งตามตาลจมวยหนึ่งวีเอในกาสายบนตอบตัวในเปลได้เมียนกิจปีพิซาอัมปีเรื่องนี้หรือก่อเมียนกาทลายกาปีเวียคมินสำคัญสำคัญเตะตรงตึงนังปัญหาในโยบายขมายกิจปรมเปลียงสันติเพียบหอยกาได้เฟอปีที่ปรบตีเวียมาพยบตลาเจกิจปรมเปลียงสันติสัญญาสันติเพียบที่กรุงปารีนี้คือมุ่งเปิดได้โลกสมัยสีบานดักไงปมบุญใครวิจิกาดำใบทวีมิตรภูมิวัตถการปฏิกรรมปุจีวิญบาดหายปิปรุโลกบานนิรเตคลุนจิตชราชนามหายเชียงบุญชนามหายดอยซาแต่เมียนกาจอดประกันภายในโดยท่าเตะตรงแต่หนังปัญหามวยจำนวนหายก่อเมียนการวมเลียกณะปะสังครูชีตกลองมอกพองได้ให้เหมือนบานโจรวมในขนมกาบอชนาวดอยโลกกรรมสขาได้เจริญเทียนกณะปะสังครูชีตเตรียมจับคุมแข็งโดยชนะให้โลกสามเหลี่ยมสีบานประกาศยกไงตีผมบุญใครวิจิกาขมุกนี้ดำใบหนึ่งโจลตะการปฏิกรรมปุจิวิ่งดำใบหนึ่งทั่วอเมริกาพลัดโดนตีนุดาตะบตามกาได้โลกบานอ่างกบันไดคางอัญญาเทอระบอบปฏิกรรมปุจิเว้นบานปรงเปรียบเรียบจอมนี่คือโลกตำนานเรียอลันโลเวนโซลบาดแดโลกกำปงแต่ทวีตำนานมาหายหายนั่งโลกนั่งเมียนกาทลายกาบันเตจเตียนนี่บาหายโลกคางมันไตรรัฐบาลหรือก่อกองกำลังในขนมติกรงปุ่มปิงเว้นบานปรงเปรียบเรียบจอมทวีกาโดยท่าตุบสกัดหรือบังกราบปัจจัยเมียนกาโดยท่าบาบาหรือก่อนอมปัจเจียบรอดบาบาทวีจีทวีญาณาดำไปดูดมลมรัฐบาลในประเทศกัมพูชีได้บ้านนี่คือเชียร์ไว้ได้กับปงตาการเมียนหลังจังไปบัดอาจหนึ่งตามดานหรือก็เตสนาสตับหรือก็เตสนาการได้ไปพิซาคเนียนในขนมวิเมียนรัสเซียดามิเอนตำนางเรียกอเมริกันชีชันรูปไปหนึ่งเวียกมันสำคัญสำคัญเมื่อปีประเทศกัมพูชี
ហើយនឹងវាក្មិនមកពីសាររដ្ឋអាមេរិកនេះរួមទាំងកញ្ញាគមនោវិជ្ជាផងដែលពុកកញ្ញាកំពុងតែត្រូវជាប់នៅក្ន
Gentlemen, uh, welcome to the Congressional Caucus on Cambodia, our commemoration, our caucus's commemoration of the 1991 Paris Peace Accord. Uh, my name is Alan Lowenthal, and I am the co-chair of the caucus, of the Co Congressional Caucus on Cambodia. Today, I'm a little... I'm stepping back a little bit. Today is a fly-in day. What a fly-in day means that members are coming back from their home districts and have to be on the floor by 6.30. So we have some members who want to speak here today, and so I'm not quite sure when they're going to be arriving back. So Sheila Jack Representative Sheila Jackson Lee wants to address you on this issue. She is hoping to be here by around 5.30, if she can. She's flying in from Houston, Texas, and she believes her plane may be delayed a little bit. Uh, same thing with my co-chair, Mr. Shabbat uh, of Ohio. Hopefully, he will be here. So uh, what kind of, some of our speakers will be, we're going to shift around in the presentation who our speakers are. Uh, so I'm Alan Lowenthal, and I'm the co-chair of this caucus. I want to thank all of our speakers that are going to be here with us today, and especially, again, although he's not here, I want to thank my co-chair, uh, Steve Shabbat. You know, a lot of times we hear throughout the country that why can't we get things done? Republicans and Democrats do not work together. Well, I will tell you, on the Congressional Caucus on Cambodia, Republicans and Democrats speak in one voice. We are not divided. <laughs> so what you're hearing is a bipartisan support. And you will see the bills that we introduce are bipartisan bills. <laughs> Mr. Shabbat is a great partner of mine, and he is the co-chair as much as I am the co-chair, and I'm honored, literally honored, to work with Steve Shabbat, who has been a, a wonderful person to work with. I'm also going to recognize Ted Yoho, who will be coming in, Congressman Yoho. I don't think he's here. Congressman Yoho will be coming in a little while. He, too, is the Republican ranking member which means, as you know, those of you who know much about how we work here, the ranking member is the lead member of the minority party. And so Mr. Yoho is the ranking member on the Asia Subcommittee of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Mr. Yoho, a Republican, and I work together as one person. We have both, he introduced, when he was the chair, uh, and I was on the Tom Lantos Commission, but we are both authors, co-sponsors of the, uh, the uh, Cambodian Democracy Act. Again, we speak with one voice, Democrats and Republicans. We are not divided on these issues. Uh, so Mr. Yoho from Florida will be also be here today. And as I mentioned, he is the, co the, co the, uh, the author, which I am the co-also on. Uh, a co-author on the Cambodia De Democracy Act, which we know passed uh, the House of Representatives earlier this year. I'm also going to thank the rest of our speakers. I'm just going to list them now. I'll go through later on the order of the speakers. But I really want to thank all the speakers. You know, this is really about hearing those speakers and understanding that this is a historic moment that we're living through. Maybe not the best moment in the history of what's going on in Cambodia, but it's historic that we're all here together to talk about what is the next step and what do we do. And so I'm really pleased, and I'll just list some of the folks or the folks that will be addressing you later on. First is Mona Kemp, 
who is a CNRP Deputy Director, uh, Deputy Director General of Public Affairs. Then we're going to have Derek Mitchell, who is the President of the National Democratic Institute. Then we're going to have uh, Tung Yap, who is the President of the Khmer People's Network for Cambodia. And I hope if I mispronounce your name, you, you will forgive me. <laughs> um, Kim Hun Thit, who is the Chairwoman of the Women's Affairs for the CNRP of America and CNRP overseas. Um, we have the Venerable uh, Bhatt Bunten, um, who is here. And we have Janet Seng, President of the CNRP Women's Movement, uh, the Global Networks, Women's Movement Global Networks. We're also intending, as I mentioned, to have Representative Shabbat will be here, Representative Yoho will be here, and if her plane lands on time, she uh, Representative uh, 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 Sheila Jackson Lee will be here. So this is an important event. So we are, why are we here? We're here to honor the 28th anniversary of the Paris Peace Accord, which is also called the, the, Cam the Comprehensive Cambodian Peace Agreement, which sought to ensure the rights of self-determination of the Cambodian people through free and fair elections. Today we must recognize that Cambodia, under Prime Minister Hun Sen, no longer enjoys free and fair election. Uh, the Paris Peace Accords promised full multi-party democracy. Uh, the Prime Minister Hun Sen has destroyed democracy uh, as promised by the agreement, by dissolving the main opposition party, jailing the CNRP President Kem Soka, and threatening to arrest Sam Rainsy when he returns to Cambodia, to Cambodia which is expected to be on uh, November 9th. Uh, this is not free and fair elections or a, or a democracy that, that we know it. Uh, and I call upon the Cambodian government here, and if it's reported, I think all the members of Congress call upon the Cambodian government to swiftly release Kem Soka, to reinstate the CNRP as a political party, and as, and as well as to allow the CNRP members to hold their elected seats. We call upon that immediately to be done. Uh, the United States, as a signature, uh, signatory to the agreement, needs to step up our involvement in Cambodia if Cambodia does not take steps to secure democracy. Recently, to this end, I have introduced the Cambodia Trade Act, along with my friend Representative Shabbat. We are both are the co-authors and co-sponsors of the Cambodia Trade Act in the House of Representatives. And the, and the dual, this is a bipartisan, bicameral, bill that we were introducing on in the Senate. Senator Ted Cruz has introduced the same bill as, as we are doing in the House. Uh, and this bipartisan and bicameral legislation would require the Trump, the Trump administration to reconsider Cambodia's preferential trade treatment under the general a uh, system of preferences, GSP, which means that we give exemptions or we, we reduce tariffs and goods that Cambodia exports to the United States. We gave this uh, preferential status in 1997 to increase aid and to support the fledging, fledgling democracy in Cambodia that was occurring, which we had hoped in the late 1990s we passed this in in the you know we gave cambodia that preferential trade agreement cambodia currently expo exports more than 180 million dollars uh, in goods to the united states duty free under this program so we are providing special treatment to cambodia but as a belief of representative shabbat i hope many, many members of this uh, House, same thing in the Senate in a bipartisan way, that trade and economic growth should not come 
at the price of democracy and freedom. That's, that's the way it is. We should not be providing economic benefits, preferential trade treatment at the expense of democracy. We did that to promote democracy, to promote the results of the 1991, to help Cambodia as it moved towards democracy. Cambodia has violated that, not the United States. We want to promote better trade. We want to provide uh, for Cambodian trade, but Cambodia must live up to its part of the bargain. As everybody who, who is here today knows, Cambodia has not lived up to its part of the, the bargain. We know that Hun Sen's regime has undermined the nation's path towards democracy by attempts to abolish all political opposition or dissent, and for that, it is our belief, Representative Chabot and myself, and Senator Ted Cruz in, this, in the Senate, that Cambodia should not enjoy preferential trade privileges with the United States. You know that the European Union is also looking at the, the, same, the same issue of trade privileges uh, because of the same thing. They, too, support Cambodia, would like to see Cambodia continue to m move towards democracy, but EU is also looking at, as Cambodia also violates the, 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 the 1991 Paris Agreement, which they agreed to that they were a signature that they would promote democracy. And as everyone in this room knows, they have not done that. So I want to thank everyone for joining you. You're really not here to hear me. You're here to talk to each other. I'm just the, kind of the convener and kind of work on your behalf. All the people in this room, I, you know, we're not here to pick sides. We're not, in the, we're not here to change governments. We are here to promote democracy and freedom and, to re, and ask this government to do what it promised to do. And, to, and that it has not done at all. So with that, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. Uh, and that will be Mona, Mona Kim, who is the CNRP Deputy D Director General of Public Affairs. Welcome. all Cambodian stakeholders accountable to the Paris Peace Accord. Also, what the Paris Peace Accord tell us is that even back then, very few people thought that it was, pos it was impossible for us to reconcile our differences. But in the end, despite the deep conflicts, despite years of bloodshed, it is still possible for us to find a peaceful way to come together to reconcile our differences. So to me, I look into Paris Peace Accord as something of hope, especially in, in, in our world today, in Cambodia today. Four of the Cambodian faction agree that, we would, that they would take effective measure to ensure that policy and practices of the past will not be returned again. And I wish today, 28 years later, that I can, I can stand here and say that Cambodia has uphold to that promises, that, we have, that Cambodian has shown commitment to those promises, but unfortunately not. Especially in the last two years, we see that not only Cambodia does not uphold to the Paris Peace, Accord, agree, uh, the Paris Peace Accords, there have been major, major step backs in the last two years to get rid of all the elements and the spirits of Paris Peace Accord, and I will just quickly list um, those things. Millions of people have their votes stolen. Millions of people, thousands of officially elected commune councillor, elected official, have been taken away from their offices a few months after the election. We have many arrests, many political prisoners. 
And as long as there's, there's a single political prisoner, including my father, Kam Sokha, the practices of the past and the principle of the past continue to haunt us today, and it's still very present. What I mean by the, um, the practices of the past, the practice of the Khmer Rouge, so it's really present today. And for those, um, we also want to acknowledge, uh, to, uh, to acknowledge some progress that has been made. Um, we've been, sometimes we hear criticism that we, the opposition or the democracy fighters, do not acknowledge enough of what's been happening positively from 1970, uh, 1991 until now. There has been some progress, especially on social issues. For example, on HIV, AIDS, malaria, that's no, longer, that's no longer a big concern in Cambodia. So we do acknowledge that. But for those who invoke those achievements and to say that the price of peace is human rights or the price of peace is the violation of uh, individual rights, they are absolutely wrong. And for my own observation, just by looking back, fr looking back um, to all the way to um, 1991, I, I was young then, by that was I was first introduced to Paris Peace Accord when my, uh, when my father comes to Kha founded the first human rights organization in Cambodia. I think, looking back now, there has never been a buy-in from some of the Cambodian faction on the Paris Peace Accord itself. And that's why it has not worked out well. That's why in the last, um, it's almost been um, 30 years now, because there's no real buy-in from the ruling party in particular, the Hun Sen faction. Why? If you, look, um, if you look at the heart of the problem that we have today in Cambodia, it's about legacy struggle. Yeah, we can talk about the, you know, um, the ruling party wanting to stay in power, but it's about legacy. And there's a conflict because the Cambodian, the, one, the, the ruling party sees the Paris Peace Accord as our victory. And as long as they don't see that the Paris Peace Accord is for all Cambodians and that it's, all, it's, for all, it's the victory of all Cambodians, we cannot have real reconciliation. So I, I see that there's been a struggle of, of, of whose legacy, whose le legacy is going to live. It's Paris Peace Accord, 23rd October versus 7 January. That's the um, liberation, or as we call it, the invasion of, of, of Cambodia in 19, 1979. So I think first, as a Cambodian, as the new, as the young generation, we need to look at we look we need to look at the heart of the problem. We need to solve that struggle first, the struggle of legacy. And I would call on the new generation on the other side, the ruling party, for them to see that the Paris Peace Accords was and is a victory of all, for all of us, and it belongs to all of us. And I'm afraid that if you insist, you insist on enforcing your own legacy, which is the 1979, 7 January 1979, we can, the country, we can never be united. We can never have national unity. We can never have real reconciliation because it's very difficult for us as Cambodians to accept a day that you invited a foreign country to invade our country. So 7 January 1979 is a controversial victory, even if that is such a victory. Paris Peace Accord, however, is something that all of us, all of us have brought all of us together. It's not just a victory for the Democrats. It's not just a victory of, uh, of the freedom fighter. It's a victory for all of us. And I, I, can, I, can, I, can point, um, I can point specifically how you, the ruling party, the elite, benefit from that you would not have been able to even travel abroad, even on your private jet, if we, if we were still living in communism before the Paris Peace Accord. We wouldn't have aid from all these countries, from, this, uh, per, uh, from the signatory country, in particular the US, the EU, Japan, and many other countries. I, I know I'm up. Is, is that it? No. Oh, OK. <laughs> it's about. It's about, OK. So that was not five minutes. So you have to acknowledge that the Paris Peace Accord does bring benefits not only to Cambodian at large, but actually the elites benefit most, most, more than anybody else from the Paris Peace Accord. And you can't pick and choose. You can, for example, you can want certain parts of the agreement, but then don't, um, you don't respect other parts of the agreement. But the very particular example is the EBA of the GSP. The reason why we got these preferences it's because of the Paris Peace Accord. The reason why we have roads, we have hospitals, we have schools in Cambodia, it's because of all those international aids and loans. And it is because of the Paris Peace Accord, and you benefited from that. 
you have benefited from that more than anybody. All the Cambodians benefited from it. We benefited from it. So why are you trying to destroy that? And you need to see that as a legacy together. Because I'm really concerned. And I don't think that if anyone, if any group in particular, if any group still pushing for their own legacy, whether it's 7 January or, some, or anything else, I don't see that we can ever reconcile. And the only legacy that would be lasting, that's sustainable, and that's genuine, is the one that we can build together. So today, I genuinely want to, um, want to appeal to the new generation of the ruling party to rethink all of that. We have built something great already, the old generation, which is the Paris Peace Accord. That can be our roadmap, and we can use that as the foundation to move forward together. And you need to see that belongs to you as well. And I will end uh, my speech here. And next, I think I'm supposed to introduce Mr. Stu Shabbat, who's not here well, yet. Yes, I'm going to introduce um, Derek Mitchell. Derek, right over here. The next, um, I would like to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Derek Mitchell, who is the president of the National Democratic Institute. Thank you. Well, thank you all very, very much. Uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Congressman Lowenthal, for inviting me, as well as Congressman Chabot, who is not here at the moment in intercession. Mona, uh, who never fails to inspire me whenever I hear her speak, she does represent the best of her generation and the hope and promise of Cambodia. Uh, and all the families that are sacrificing, her father and others, uh, inside and outside the country, who have been sacrificing along with their families for freedom in Cambodia to really inspire me and everybody who, who knows the Cambodian experience. And I want to say hello to what a remarkable display of support from the Cambodian community here in this room. I am very honored to join all of you and, and the um, Cambodia Congressional Caucus to mark the 28th anniversary of the 1991 Paris Peace Accords. This historic agreement, signed by 19 governments, including the United States, brought an end to a brutal conflict and laid out a path to building a democratic Cambodia founded on respect for human rights and the rule of law. The Accords call for Cambodia to establish, and I quote here, a system of liberal democracy on the basis of pluralism, ensure respect for and observance of human rights and fundamental freedoms in Cambodia, and support the rights of all Cambodian citizens <coughs> to undertake activities that would promote and protect fundamental freedoms and adhere to all relevant human rights instruments. When the peace accords were signed, Cambodia was emerging from decades of war, genocide, and Vietnamese occupation. The war was economically devastated, and few institutions of democratic governance existed. But the years immediately following the signing of this agreement were ones of much hope and promise. I actually remember these days, as I was a young, not much younger, but a, young, a younger, a younger program officer working at NDI on Cambodia at the time. I'm now president of NDI 25 years ago I was a program officer working on Cambodia during this very hopeful moment of progress and promise after the Accords. The Cold War had just ended. Cambodia seemed to be one of the immediate beneficiaries of this new moment for Asia and the world. In many ways, Cambodia had epitomized the ideological conflict and political divisions that marked the Cold War, and that the world hoped with its end would hearken a new world order, or at least a world safer for democracy. We stand in 2019, unfortunately, mourning the lost promise of that moment, but still hopeful about the future. The actions of the Hun Sen government over the years have contravened the letter and the spirit of the Paris Agreement, systematically violating the rights that are protected by the Cambodian Constitution and international conventions and degraded the tireless work of countless Cambodian citizens to build a democratic society. The consistent harassment and arrest of political activists, the dissolution of the political opposition, and the crackdown on independent news media, civil society groups, and human rights organizations are severe manifestations of the deterioration of democracy in Cambodia. At the same time, in my view, they also betray the government's deep insecurity. As a secure and confident leadership that believes it truly has the support of the people and represents the popular will, would not need to resort to such things to find any opposition threatening in order to maintain its control. 
That means, of course, the Cambodian transition, heralded by the Paris Agreement, is not done, but remains a work in progress. Although the Cambodia of today is a far cry from what we all worked for and hoped for during that period, the people of Cambodia, when given the chance, have demonstrated time and again their untiring commitment to change and to freedom. No action by the Cambodian government can hide that basic truth. It requires, then, that those who signed that agreement 29 years ago must not look away, must not forget, but rededicate themselves to real realizing the lost promise reflected in this anniversary. Every signatory, including the United States, has a responsibility to speak up. And those, who have, uh, those of us who care about Cambodia's well-being must put pressure on those signatories who fail to assist its full implementation. Especially those who not only look the other way, but aid and abet the continued hijacking of Cambodia's future, and do so clearly for their own benefit, rather than for the benefit of the Cambodian people and at the expense of Cambodian sovereignty. At great personal risk, Cambodian defenders of democracy and freedom continue to work to implement the vision and promise of the Paris Peace Accords, and we all must continue to stand in solidarity with them and support their efforts. For 25 years, until 2017, when we were asked to leave, NDI did so inside the country, working alongside Cambodians across the political spectrum to build new democratic institutions and processes and fulfill the country's promise, even as political conditions steadily deteriorate. We supported the development of a multi-party system, a vibrant civil society, peaceful electoral competition, and greater opportunities for women and young people to participate in and lead political processes. Cambodian people deserve the democratic future they envisioned for themselves, and that was affirmed by the international community 28 years ago. NDI appreciates and honors the relentless efforts of the Cambodian caucus and the strong, timely statements by the U.S. Congress on a bipartisan basis, which is a wonderful thing, uh, in support of human rights in Cambodia. And we continue to stand with the Cambodian people, including those here in this room, as they continue their relentless march for freedom and justice. So thank you very much for the opportunity to speak this up. Next, uh, our next speaker is uh, uh, Tom Yap, who is the president of My People's Network. Alan Lovento, Congressman Steve Chabot. We'll be here momentarily. Okay. <laughs> Great. And all the um, caucus members for working very hard on the Cambodian issue. Since our um, initial request to host this commemoration to Fong Lee in the uh, Congressman Alan Lovento office, we, our civic group were very happy to um, receive the news from Ngoc Nguyen on September 11, on the day of the hearing, that the Cambodia caucus will host a, a reception. So we were re very happy. And last weekend, 16 of our civic uh, organization, Cambodian and Laos, uh, from across America came together to the greater Washington DC area to hold a Southeast Asia conference. And we conclude that there were serious violation of the core principle of the 1991 Paris Peace Accord. The, con the conference produced a joint statement on the violation, and we have some copy here today, and we will email to different places uh, uh, later tonight and tomorrow. The conference was very grateful of the U.S. Congressional Cambodia Caucus 
for holding the commemoration of the 28th anniversary of the 1991 Paris Peace Accord on Cambodia this October 21st, the first time ever in this historic um, accord for the Cambodian people. So thank you. Um, and also the, uh, the conference would like to acknowledge, deeply appreciate and support the following U.S. Congress resolution on Cambodia and Laos, just to name a few. We support H.R. 526, Cambodia Democracy Act of 2019, H.R. 1376, Cambodia Trade Act of 2019, S-34, Cambodia Trade Act of 2019, S-24-12, Cambodia Accountability and Return on Investment Act of 2018, S-REST 240, a resolution expressing the sense of the Senate with respect to democracy and human rights in the Laos People Democratic Republic. And here I would like to thank the uh, civic organization that uh, helped initiate this commemoration by uh, reading their name. They, they were the co-sponsor of the Southeast Asia uh, Conference 2019 last weekend. I, uh, first, uh, Cambodia Border Institute, Cambodian Alliance for the Paris Peace Agreement on Cambodia, Cambodian American for Human Rights and Democracy, Cambodia Women Health Organization, Khmer Alliance Foundation, Khmer Association of Hampton Road, Virginia, Khmer People Network for Cambodia, Khmer Unity for Cambodia, Laos American for Laos and Human Rights, Laos American Veteran Association, Maybon Foundation, our Mutual National Interest International, Omni International, Overseas Khmer Summit, Reinstated Royal Lao Government, Say Cambodia, Union for Lao Nation and Study and Research Center on Laos and Asia. On November 9, Mr. Ram Sambansi, the exile leader of CNRP, will return to Cambodia. He and his political party are supported by half of the Cambodia population. Since Mr. Hun Sen and Mr. Sambansi have about the same number of supporters, um, they must reach a compromise acceptable to both sides uh, for the interest of peace. I ask the U.S. Congress to help with the safety of his return to Cambodia. And again, to conclude, I would like to thank Congressman Alan Duvento, Congressman Steve Chabot, and all the uh, Cambodia caucus member for hosting this commemoration of the 1991 Paris Peace Accord. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'm pleased to uh, bring up uh, Kim Hun Tit, who is the chairwoman of the Women's Affairs for the CNRP of America and CNRP Overseas. Thank you, Congressman Nolan Lugantil, that's uh, allowed me to speak today, and uh, good evening, everyone. Today, I'm talking on behalf of Cambodian National Review Party America, Cambodian National Review Party um, Overseas. I'm Kim Hun Tet. I'm a chairwoman of uh, CNOPA and CNOPO. And uh, the reason why I'm here, I'm among of many Cambodian women, which is had, you know, um, involved of um, suffering from the dictator Hun Sen regime. So let me uh, allow me to introduce. Uh, back history that when I was young, I never lived in peaceful at all. I lived with fear. I heard a lot of soldiers came from the war and never peaceful because all of that um, Pol Pot regime has been continued. And it still continued right now to Hun Sen regime. So I said to myself that when I have opportunity to come to the freedom country, 
like United States. I will study hard. I will work hard. I will be study uh, more, understand more about democracy here. So here, I know that one day I have a confidence that I will fight for Cambodian. I will fight for the uh, people that is innocent in Cambodian. As you know that I have a strong feeling that one day I will be able to advocate for those innocent people who have suffered so many years um, already from Popo regime and into Hun San regime. So um, as the world know that America is a freedom country. I have um, lived in America and I am still devoting my time toward democracy. Why I'm doing that? It is because I remember my root and many other people in Cambodia, I want them to know that where they come from and where you need to uh, fight for democracy. Today, I'm proud to be represent Cambodian women and I want to let the world know that women rights and human rights in Cambodia is stuffed and severely violated, violated by Hun Sen, um, his crony government. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to recall briefly for Cambodia that has been four years since Pol Pot already know it called Killing Field. It took place during that dark period of time uh, that between 1975 and 1979, it has been one to two million people already died. And uh, you know that all of that because of they are uh, starving from food and also because of class cleaning and overlook it. So as the Cambodian women now don't have its better and um, for uh, the better predecessor pre from the killing field and era either. During the current Hun Sen regime, the majority of Cambodians who are not artificially with a lie of ruling party Cambodian people party suffered from multiple injustice including but not least land grabbing. <laughs> Again, because of where we here are talking about human rights and uh, uh, human rights and violation in Cambodia, I am really strong, have a strong feeling that we all together here with the congressmen, with all the people around the world that we can unite and then we can make Cambodia and it become more freedom and then um, have a free democracy in Cambodia. Another real case is um, a 30 years, 30 years old um, CNRP activist who was an elected official and has been targeted because she was a strong advocate and then um, for human rights and then equal access for her constituents. She had to seek out safety and then exile from her new, um, newborn child, which is had three months years old. So she is only one of many other women who is, was um, installed by Hun Sen regime. As we are celebrating 28th anniversary for Paris Accord, in, uh, it reminds me of a legitimate government who led by Hun Sen had promised it since 1991 to promote human rights in Cambodia, which indicated from Paris Peace Accord statement under Article 15, it had said that all, pers um, all persons in Cambodia and all Cambodian refugees and disposed persons um, shall enjoy rights and freedom embodied in universal the, the uh, Declaration of Human Rights and other relevant international human rights. Number two, it has said that Cambodia under the take. We need to be ensure that for um, respect for observation of human rights of fundamental freedom in Cambodia and to support the right of Cambodian citizen to undertake it, uh, activity which is what promote and then uh, protect human rights and fundamental freedom in Cambodia. And 
the, the next one it said that all other signature country uh, must promote and encourage it, request it for observation of human rights and fundamental freedom in Cambodia and embody in the relevant international instrument and relevant resolution of United States uh, United Nations General Assembly in order. Yes, Hun Sen is keep promising and promise and promising. On June 26, 2019, his illegitimate government has decided to accept 173 out of 198 recommendation made by 20, 23 UN members during the Kingdom Third Universal Period Review in 2000, uh, yeah, in 2019. So more illegal, he has made many law to ban acti activists of CNOP, the law on communication for all Cambodian inside could not use internet and a need post to express about their rights to express about democracy in Cambodia. If anyone dare to post any sign of symbol of democracy, he or she will arrest it at that moment. So, uh, so the world must keep eye on Hun Sen promise to empower human rights and women rights. The world must step toward with other in unity um, to gain strong support. For instance, women and men in the United States must step in and then to help promote uh, reselling bill dealing with uh, Cambodia democracy such as H.R. 526 Cambodia Democracy Act of 2000, 2019, H.R. 1376 Cambodia Trade Act 2019, H. 34 Cambodia Trade Act 2019, and 14, 1468 Cambodia Accountability and Return on Investment Act 2019. As Cambodian American citizen, we have the right to discuss um, with our local congressman, Senator, about our concern with diplomatic affairs, either through the phone or by the scheduling, make appointment to meet with them in the, in the Washington DC or at the local office. On behalf of Cambodian, we are here today to ask for your immediate assistant U.S. Congressman, Senator, to inverse and Number one, we want to promote the bill H.R. 526 Cambodia Democracy Act 2019 to raise the awareness. Number two, we um, urge the U.S. government and Senator to support and finding peaceful the um, the immediate release of President Kim Sokha. Number three, we would like to urge international community about um, Paris Peace Agreement so to promote that so the Cambodians can live peace um, and um, freedom for all Cambodians. And at the end, I would like to thank so much on behalf of Cambodian, on behalf of Cambodian uh, uh, National Rescue Party, on behalf of Cambodian National Rescue Party America and overseas, would like to thank the Congressman Alan Lovento, Congressman Steve Chapot, Congressman uh, Ted Joho, and many other and the I and I I for your support for your all us always behind us Cambodia for always support Cambodian to become uh, living free fully and then democracy in the new world. Thank you so much for your attention. And now I have the good fortune of introducing the co-chair of the Congressional Caucus on Cambodia, Representative Steve Shepard, my good friend. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I uh, apologize for being a few minutes late. Um, I was handling uh, four bills on the floor of the House. Uh, they were bipartisan bills, Republicans, Democrats working together. Uh, it's a small business committee. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of Republicans, Democrats working together in a lot of Congress. There is relative to Cambodia, however. 
we really do work together. Uh, Alan Lowenthal and myself have worked together on this issue for years. We're different parties, but we agree on the future of Cambodia, and that future of Cambodia should be uh, decided by the people of Cambodia. And it ought to be a bright future and, and an honorable future, uh, something other than what is happening, obviously, right now in Cambodia. And we're here to commemorate the 28th anniversary of the signing of the Paris Peace Accords. And almost three decades ago, the, uh, that particular Accords promised Cambodia uh, a path forward uh, with the understanding that Cambodia would become a stable, multi-party democracy that respected the rights of its people. Unfortunately, under the rule of Hun Sen, the Cambodian government has not lived up to that potential nor has it upheld its commitments to human rights that were made under the Accord. I don't need to go through all the details of the latest crackdown uh, for anyone here. Um, suffice it to say that no meaningful political opposition is tolerated. Uh, Kem Soka, as was mentioned, is still in jail, and the last so-called election, let's face it, it was a farce. The, this willful disregard by Hun Sen and his cronies of political rights makes a mockery of his signature on those accords 28 years ago. That's why here in the House we have proposed legislation to incentivize him to rethink his recent actions. Uh, Mr. Yo, who I, who I believe uh, will be speaking shortly uh, joined by several other members, including myself, uh, we've championed the uh, Cambodian Democracy Act to provide for targeted sanctions on those who have participated in uprooting uh, democracy in Cambodia. Uh, but sanctions uh, don't always work, which is why uh, Congressman Lowenthal and I introduced the Cambodia Trade Act, which would require a review of the GSP trade privileges that we extend uh, to Cambodia. And as we mark the anniversary of the signing of the Paris Peace Accords, I pray that we will soon see a Cambodia that finally respects its people, respects their human rights, and their desire for political freedom. The people of Cambodia deserve much better than they're getting under Hun Sen's regime. And Congressman Lowenthal and I and many other members of Congress, both Republicans and Democrats, are committed to doing everything within our power to make sure that one day, and hopefully that's in the very near future, that Cambodia will once again be free. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, we had the pleasure of having the Venerable but Bun Ten uh, present to us. Thank you very much, Congressman. It's lucky enough to speak about the Paris Peace Agreement. My point to speak now is the violation of the Paris Peace Agreement brought Cambodia to the uncertain trend. <coughs> Since the dissolve of CNRP, the foundation of democracy is totally destroyed. And let me raise the point of the Paris Peace Agreement on Section 4, Article 8. It sets very important points of the foreign forces, withdrawal of the foreign forces and its verification. Recently in 2019 and the end of 2018, there are reports produced by many international organizations stated that the Cambodian government under the dictator, Mr. Hun Sen, is secretly signed, given two places of land not less than 45,000 he 45, acres uh, hectares in Kokong and in Sianu. This is come back to 
the history before Paris Peace Agreement. And I think probably the negligence of the Symmetry's country's member giving big opportunity to the long-standing in power, Mr. Hun Sen, manipulated democracy in Cambodia. To me, Cambodian and Cambodia is lucky enough to have 18 countries as their guardians, but the fruits of Paris Peace Agreement seem to be spoiled because giving big opportunity to the Prime Minister to act carelessly without thinking about Cambodian people free wills. The elections in 2018 is not a free will, but there is no choice. The election will be forceful to the voters to come out from their homes to vote to the party that they do not want. And if those who do not sow the fingerprints, a black fingerprints to the authority, they may not happily and peacefully live at their home. So this is the form of completely destroys the Paris Peace Agreement. Another point that I wish to raise, how the Senate countries members keep silent if the situation in Cambodia is uncertain. Do the Senate countries member continue to concern or they have to take step, take action against this dictator? If dictator continue to rule the countries to torture the people, not because of the strongest dictators, but the guardians, the signatories countries keep ignore. So my sincere call for the signatory country, they may have to set up the committee called the Evaluation Paris Peace Agreement Evaluation Company a, a committee. And we have to check how far for these 28 years, how far the Cambodian ruling elites have followed and respects the Paris Peace Agreement. My dear friends, congressmen, the destroying Paris Peace Agreement is totally destroying the foundation of human rights. When the human rights in Cambodia is fully violated, it's not the suffer only for our people, but is the suffer of the signatory countries are uh, they need to keep silent to give the opportunity to the prime minister to rule for one more term for 35 years would be enough for the dictators i think now it's the times to the victims to be united and works together for the betterment of our people. May our people forget our differences, our opinion, but looking at our nation in suffer, our nation in danger. If we don't do so, then don't we don't cry. We don't cry and we don't tear up our tears, don't trap our tears that our nation is in danger if we are not united. Thank you very much. Well, Representative Yoho will be here in just a minute, so I want to finish up with our invited speakers before the representative speaks to us. And our next speaker is Janet Seng, who is the president of the CNRP Women, uh, global, uh, women's uh, movement, Thank global. You. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Congressman Allen went to save the best for last. Yes. 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 Um, before I start, I would like to pay respect to Vernable 
Bun Ting. And I know in this room such a diversity. We have different organization and different leader. But I also would like to pay respect to His Excellency Yang Fong Ret that's here, and His Excellency Tuan Yuda, as well as Sister Mona that could join us today. Um, on behalf of the Cambodian around the world, I'd like to extend to Congressman Alan Luento, Steve Chabot, and Congressman Ted Yoho, who will be here soon, as well as Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. A heartfelt thank you uh, for putting together a Congressional Cambodian Caucus commemoration of 1991 Paris Peace Accord today. Friends like you are a rare gift. Thank you for all you have done for Cambodia. However, political crisis in Cambodia has yet end. We have a long way to go. We must continue to fight for human rights, demand for the return of uh, democracy to Cambodia. The 1991 Peace Period Accords, which end Cambodian Civil War and supposedly brought democracy, peace, stability into Cambodia. But after Paris Peace Accord signed it in 1991, there are many challenges remain. <coughs> Cambodians in Cambodia, Cambodians around the world crying out for the United States, the international community, especially the nation that signed and witnessed the 1991 Peace Accord to hold Mr. Hun Sen accountable for dissolving the opposition party, CNRP party, and create political crisis such as taking step arrest and jail opposition, president, members, supporter, by using the court system. Up to today, there are 58 people has been arrested and jailed. It is a step that illustrates Hun Sen's consolidation of power and violated human rights time after time again in Cambodia. Currently, Hun Sen police brutally beaten, arrested, CNRP supporter and threat of many more political arrests. Mr. Sambrangsi return to Cambodia is Cambodian last hope to bring back democracy and the respect of human rights. We want to see our president, Mr. Kemsaka, being free. We want to see CNRP being reinstated, we certainly want to see freedom, peace, justice in Cambodia. I would like to call on member of Congressional Cambodian Caucus, Cambodia, CNRP member and chapter in the United States around the world, work together as a team should we wish to bring change to Cambodia. Thank you. Uh, Representative Yoho said he'll be here. He just got out of a meeting. He's coming. So let's take a five-minute break until he arrives. <laughs> Stretch you. out, you know. Thank you. That's Good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like three minutes.
to remind him about how the call to stop. Do you want to talk to me or do you want to talk to you? Want to talk to you? Yeah. How, how the call to stop you? What's your first name? How, how do I... Sonora. Sonora from CWA. Huh? CWA. Sonora? Sonora from. How do you spell it? S A U N O R A. Prom. P R O M. Like high school prom. P R O M? P R O M. I want three minutes. Give Sonora from three minutes to talk about the history of the caucus. If you want to be looking for material, you can just wait. Just wait. Congressman? Yes. I'm Wonder Camp of Radio Free Asia. We know many times. Sure. Uh, on November 9, some of the opposition party, uh, the CNRP senior ranking official will return to Cambodia. Yes. Do you have any statement for this return because of the regime? Sure, it's great. It's fun to spread them, to smash them, to obliterate them. Well, I think one of the things that is coming out uh, of this today, where we're commemorating Bây giờ mình sẽ mời các bạn chụp cho mọi người xong rồi đó. Đại trị sẽ cầm chân một rút nơi rọt về chơi nha. Ta nơi thế này nếu lúc cho rùm nơi tìm này ta mình trong bằng hành dụng bao lâu có chùm hồ cho mấy tiện tông tên năng để ta kết bộ phương tích công phá rí nâng tiện tông nâng nâng nơi dụng bài cầm chơi. Và khi ông mình bắn tại một đồ bông phát nhầm quân hợp chồng thì khi ông nâng một đồ bông nhầm nâng lao dây Ông thấy thiết nhầm nâng lao dây để bắn tại nhầm dây như thế chứ Thì mỗi Mà nữ mà nẹ đại là phá lịch Đại là đồng ổ khí nê nâng rô hợp tiêu phá lịch Kháng xí đà bộ ế nâng khi ông chỉ nẹ bắt đàm Thưa là có cơ sở nâng Hãy có cơ sở nâng tự bông phát khi ông nè dây cho mỗi congressman Nơi kháng San Francisco À, lời nâng quát chia Chairman caucus with me caucus Còn ta if, if I'm, I'm free I would be your caucus Để các bạn đã khiếm bắt đầu cùng đất Nhưng mà ta bởi vô những cái miền caucus Mấy cậu không ai dưới cái miền caucus Bạn sẽ khiếm này dưới cho môi lục Alan Von Thor Hơi nâng khiếm này dưới cho môi lục Ad Roy Nếu chỉ congressman P nè Để bắt đầu cùng đất thua caucus môn kê vô Hai đó hai tới bàn ở lúc đó thì tôi đang chỗ rùm ở rùm thơ như mùi này Anh ấy khiếm chọn rùm lực bảo vọt xa hành tịch Lúc lúc ạc rối bàn đuổi thả lìa chụp hai nữa lúc bàn đuổi thả chụp bì tầm này Bất đơn nữa không được dấu bài nơi Campuchia dọc ngày bên Cả đà bảo rốt khuộp Mà phê bằng bấy chứ năm rưu có khuộp Sẵn thích xảy nhà cơ rộng bà rí nữa Ta vì miên ca bà tìm bà tung khí Yang nak tahu hari lokal tak ada tu jawab anda pihak di Kamboja dan Songka. Baik, kiam cang jemrip tak je, kiam cang jemrip tak kah dari ke dosrai panjaha kemai 
đồng ô nữa nghe quê không ai dương cao sắp bầm buôn phê rồi chả lòng chả lòng dân mệnh không ai chả lòng dân mệnh không ai chả lòng thả kê nâng mò chùa dương cả bất kê mình mên mò chùa dương thì kê chuối là thị bà chia thơ bà tay dương khơi này kê chuối vô là thị bà chia thơ bà tay nâu bà tê chả nè hơi đòi hơi tới trong cái đói kê thả lấy là thị bà chia thơ bà tay bàn mò hơi kê tới đó luôn chênh đó bây giờ đúng dương thà ý mấy cái này anh chọc chùi thì không bởi thế chứa chứa ra hãy không ai chứa chứa ra chọn khơi ảnh mấy cái này tớ chúi thua cá chồng nút luôn này cả bất tớ không ai tớ tớ thua đời khu luôn này mình tớ không ai tớ ai đó sẽ ra bà nhà không ai được khu luôn này bạn bảo khu luôn ai hay mình prom tẹo tôn khá nế mình prom này dây khá nế mình đó sẽ ra bà nhà không ai không biết là ai tớ đó sẽ ra bà nhà không ai bạn thì xong mô con chân lộ cả prom xong rồi đó chỉ thì chỉ sự thật bên đất rồi còn chỉ bất thiên bất thiên vật bát này ông ca không ai mới căng nữa ba chị anh chị em bắt tay em thấy khi ông mà lâu mình mình bất thiên cầm bạc xà bị bà tê tê đòi xà tì môi lô vi bol còn mình mình chỉ bất thiên đấy lô vi bol bàn chọc hơi ở anh nát hơi hơi lô vi bol còn mình chỉ sập mà chức rồi bỏ si đồ bảy tê đây bị pro quan tới thưa cả đạo bạ thay nói hay quạt ăn miên sạch thị nâng thưa châu nó không xì đâu bởi tiệt tiệt cái hay cái nhóm nó có lời nó có cái nhóm cái chia còn là chia tầm nang rồi bỏ xì đâu bởi bởi sum o con bởi sum o con chân lực mà sum o con và bây mình đi chơi cảm vị thi tiệt tông tình năng để thà cả vị thi xa cách phòng riêng sân thi chơi nhà thi công paris sân thi chơi nhà sàn thi tiếp và hay là vie cái phòng tài chụp mặt trời mới chụp nón này năng để thà bây giờ vào hôm nay đại cho rùm là cái nông cảm vị thi này làm bài năng vị thi xa ông bị bệnh hà chẳng lại nâng hơi lục để chia nhà tâm năng riêng một rụp xanh tiết cứ lục lục steel chabot ấy lục bàn chơi một đòi hỏi mà mình bàn bằng hai nơi tiệt sân nặng chỉ cho nên tiệt tông tình năng cao sa bị chia tập tay nơi khôn ông bị tây campuchia lục alan novenso có bàn bị chết ông bị chụp cô chụp hồ rồi bỏ sấp hia rồi bỏ lục nơi khôn ông cá chui sa bị chia tập tay nơi khôn ông bị tây campuchia làng vinh hỏi cổ miền cà thay sơn đại cát tha rồi cổ thay cà pi chụp hồ xem xem chụp môi nâng cà thơ giang na ở miền cà cổ rụp sơn thị sơn nhà sơn thị hiệp thị công paris nâng làng vinh sầm rập bị tây campuchia hỏi nâng xoay đầu tầm nọ xoay nâng khôn ông bị tây campuchia hỏi miền cà đại miền chụp bập mùi chụp nuôn sẽ gây tiếng chụp bập mùi chụp nuôn đại sấp hìa xa rõ đậm đích nâng bật sấp hìa cầm bông tài chùm rung tới mốc tệ tông tên nâng ca đại miên ca cho bà can nằm bì ca bằng phá anh bà chìa thập bà tay nâng nông bà tê cam bà chìa hòi sân thị xa nhà sân thị hiệp thị công bà rì bàn bằng hai nhỏ ai miên đôi thà bà chìa thập bà tay ca cổ rụp sân thị mân ưu hay nâng đôi thà ca áp bì vọt nâng nông bà tê có bà đi thà nơi khung bậc tây cam bậc chia mình toàn khởi miền miền ca rụm lốp bầm pin từ lời sơn thị sơn nhà thì còn paris được chứ này ca bị phía sạc này này nơi bận to thời tiết nơi pe đại miền được chia sớm mát trước sập hia mây căng đôi lục thẹt giò hô ai nâng chơi một đó đầm bầy nâng bị phía xa bận thay tiền tích tiết nâng bay mất ai nâng tam đan tesla chỉ mui nâng khi nhầm bát sốc hai mươi ra nâng lục bồi để xây bận to thời tiết bà sông ở quân bình mật bản đại bản tam đàn test này. Sông ở quân bình mật lấy sông mà chụp đại chỉ quân bật bản tinh bản tinh. bệnh cúm sông thoang cúm nơi thế này đi cả bị thiết sa bị sinh thiết sinh nhà thì công paris hay nâng cả 
แต่เปรียบวันแต่หนึ่งนโยบายการปฏิบัติต่างประชาชนบางฮันยังมั้งแต่สนะประชาชนตัวแต่การปฏิบัติฉะนั้นปูเงียบยมเนี่ยเทศนาตามด้านวิโอเอมาพิชนำมาพิบมไปชนำกันลองพอดเตอร์นิธมากึศธาการอ่านวัตกิจปรุงปรีงที่กองปริบานติกนะฉะนั้นปูให้จุ่มหน่อยคลาสมันเตรมตัดเดาบานติกเตะเดาทอยกรอยโดยเชียนเอาขนมในตีบุญเมตราตีปมบายนี่เยอะอัมพีกาดอกเตือปอร์ตีให้หนึ่งตรุษปนิดปีเตือปอร์ตีนกนกกัมพูชียิงเคยเท่าเดาตุยยิงอัดบานดอกเตือได้ดาเตือวิ่งอุติฮอโดยกะไหนเกาะกงกะไหนเกาะกงดอลปนเตียอยู่เทียงตึกนั่งสัตว์ตับตุยปีกิจพรมเพลงที่กรงปารีให้ตีปีได้ยิงมือเคยเท่าเวียมันบานอ่านวัดให้เดาตุยคือมูลฐานกรุ๊ปประชาธิปไตยนึงสถิมนุตราบานกมติจอนมูลฐานกรองจำนวนนาคลาแต่คนเลือกอมปีเรื่องนั้นมูลฐานกรุ๊ปดาวตราบานกมติจอนสถิเสรีเพียบนกนงกาเป็นเจนมัดเตะรบประชาบุรุษตราบานบัดเตียงสรงเคลื่อนดาเจย์ดมเล็กกมท่าเป็นเจนมัดเตะเคลื่อนดาเจย์ดมเล็กที่สนะในยุบายเนี่ยดาตีกับตราบานกี้จับคุมเคียงเด๋อนั่นโปนั่งจำนวนจีมจำนวนที่พี่ยังเมื่อปีกายโจรุ่มในยุบายปีสุทธิโจรุ่มในยุบายโดยสมัยเพียบคนนี้กายโจรุ่มในยุบายสังเกตเมียนสมัยเพียบคนนี้นะเนี่ยเมียนเอตเตปุ่นรีบจอมกระดาษปั้นยุบายประกุตเองออยปีเชียบปุรุษอัดจุ่มรื้อปังคำเช็ดตะบอชนอตออยกระดาษปั้นตะมวยให้กาตะบอชนอตนั่งเมียนปุรุษจังให้ปังคำออยตะบอชตามเยอะกาตรุษมันนึกไม่จึงออยได้คนนี้เนี่ยนะอัดตะบอชเป็นนี่คนนี้ไปชนะอาอาจุ่มนึกมูลฐานตะอ้อนึกมามือเคยท่าบางพี่ผมไปชั่งน้ำกับลองพอเตอร์นี่วิ่งบ้านอ่านวัดบ้านติดตู้อ่านวัดบ้านติดตู้คืออาพิวัดเมียนเหล่าทนลเมียนสเปียนไอคลาเมียนสลารินเมียนตีเป็ดกรอมจุ่มนุ้ยบอลตีอันนึงเจ็บในมวยในเกจพรมปริงตีกรงปารีเดะให้อ่านวัดบ้านอะไรอยู่น้อยอ่านนึงได้ซาโรทาบ้านบ้านพอลเดะบ้านเกิดเทวบ่ออัดพอลเกิดอัดเทวมาเดะเตะยันนั่นปุ๋ยนึงจุ่มน้อยได้ยิงกัดสมกุลให้บ้านทวารทาเรื่องเดะเกจพรมปริงตีกรงปารีมันบ้านอ่านวัดเป็นลิงเวไอเมียนกตาปีสังขันกตาตีมุ้ยคือกาคลอทลุยมันบานเธอสหปรในบัตรกาสนัดระบอบไปจีนจะหัดเล็กใครไอ้กตาตีปีเมียนสมัยจึกมันจะหัดเล็กใครคลาเกิดรูมรุมรูปได้โดยเช่นจะเดิมเกิดรูมรุมรูปได้คลุ้งเกิดได้ใช่ไหมไอ้เกิดไอ้เวทเกิดกรมปริงที่กรมปารีอย่างไหมปัญแต่มาท้าเกิดกรมปริงที่กรมปารีนี้เจยวนกาในก็ได้สังคมสำหรับการไปเจียได้คนเมียนสังเดกาบานมันตะการอังพิธีนี่ท้าบัสนเจีย bất tề hạt lệch khay mình chui làm vì riêng năng thế miền này ta mình men chia cá chui chập bò bị chia chun mai ta mình muốn cứ cá chui chập đò bất tề hạt lệch khay đấy chẳng miền này chẳng mấy con ai giờ bị chẹt mình thay một mà tha bất tề mình chia hạt lệch khay chanh bộ rồi tha bị bán chanh bộ chẳng mấy tì muối cứ không răng vinh nhiêu tàu lứ cá sát tháp bắn á bỏ quân nhiêu bài bẹp cù cá bị chia tự tay mà phi của muối năm còn lóng mà phi của mấy năm còn lóng muốn đi cướp vinh nhiêu bay thôn thiền วินิยุเชียเฮรันกัตโตวินิยุเชียจุ่มเนียนไปเจอกันตีหนึ่งวินิยุเชียกู้นิยุบ่ายสำรับสำรู้ใบจุ่มเนียนนี่ให้บาซันเชียเกจพรมเพียงที่กรุงปารีสเตาบานปราชีให้ไปเจอบุรุษแม่เตาโรงอำเภอตุรนกรรมดองทิพย์นู้เนี่ยได้ชื่อช้ำคือมิจฉาทะเลไข่กลุ่นเองได้วินิยุมาพิมพ์ใบชั้นนำให้อัดบานพอลสมานหนึ่งเนี่ยโรริโรซิคาร์ดนะจุดนั้นโรซิคาร์ดเนี่ยโรซิเชียจุ่มเต้าเนี่ยโรซิคาร์ดได้เกิดสบายใจได้เมื่อกระตุกนั่นปุ๊บเพราะนั่นเธอไม่เอาเมียนกาบอสไลตรีเนี่ยเธอในขนมนั่งปีโปรเคยท่าเมียนกาบอสไลคังรัฐบาลทัพเซิงได้กาบอสไลคังกรมจุ่มตัวทัพซึ่งเติมปีเรื่องไงมาภายใบตัวลาตีเวียสันติฉะนั้นโปรธมาไทยยื่นมันไอบอสไลตามเตี้ยสนะกันนึกอยู่ใบเซิงเนี่ยเด็กยื่นเตาโชว์หรือมูลฐานรูมมวยมูลฐานรูมระบายยื่นคือสไลเพียบระบายปีจีปรุ่นไปยิงโชว์เรื่องมูลฐานนั้นวิอันเมียนไอเตาไปช่างตัวขี้เด็กมูลฐานตีปีได้ยิงมือขนมจุ่มน้อยตีบุญในเกจพรมปริงตะกรงปารีคือเรื่องเตาบอลตีนั้นนำไปมูลเหตุไอกิจงอลครั้งโดยทราบว่าอันเมียนสำเร็จไปช่างนักนงสุพีบันกิจงอลจินเดินปุ๊บไปจนให้เตาละรู้อ่ะจุ่มน้อยรูมไปยิงบอสไลด์โดยจุ่มน้อยดิ้งคลุ้นบอสไอ้ไ
trong người Khmer đi chấm rán ta trong người Khmer sốt ta bờ hun sen sơn lạnh sơn được phép trong ban chia bảy đa sáu ban sơn được phép của cô ta xâm rộp luôn ông quân sơn đại quân bảy mật lời này hello thật cho hồ chia sáu phía tầm nàng ria đại một pì rót florida cầm bông tại thái nhà sơn trạch thang vì đường này chân bảy mật sông tam đàn chỉ mua năng việt mà to tiệt I've been able to work alongside co-chairs Steve Shabbat and Mr. Alan Lowenthal to protect the rights and freedom of the Cambodian people. As ranking member of the subcommittee on the Age Pacific and Nonproliferation, I've also had the privilege of meeting with the Cambodia activist groups who wish to see democracy restored in their home country. Is anybody here from Gainesville, Florida? But I tell you, they come in, they've come in two or three different times in mass. And it's good to see people from Cambodia in Gainesville, Florida, because they come from around that region. And it's for democracy, it's for freedom, and it's for liberty. I'm strong with that, so it's great to see people engaged. In the 115th and the 116th Congress, I introduced the Cambodia Democracy Act, which I believe you are a co-sponsor of that which directs the president to impose sanctions on individuals responsible for acts to undermine democracy in Cambodia, including acts that constitute serious human rights violation. This important legislation passed the House unanimously in July of 2019. It passed unanimously in the last Congress. It is my intention that this legislation sends a strong message to Mr. Hun Sen an authoritarian leader who has clung to power for decades and has no intention of restoring democracy in his country. In fact, he's making uh, um, provisions to pass his leadership on to the next uh, heir, which is his family. And this is something that I thought we were over the, the years of uh, feudal passing of power from one family member to the next. You know, because democracies don't work that way. Hun Sen has used violence, threats, and intimidation to shut down the press and internet to deter dissent. He has abolished the rule of law, made it impossible for human rights to flourish in a nation that once experienced democracy. In 2017, his regime instructed Parliament and the Supreme Court to dismantle the Cambodia National Rescue Party a widely supported opposition group that challenged Hun Sen's Cambodia's, Cambodian People's Party. Cambodia's Supreme Court banned the CNRP elected officials from office, jailed them, and eliminating the country's only viable opposition and prevented those people for five years for, for seeking political office. I've had the pri privilege of meeting with members of the CNRP who have fled Cambodia for their safety including Acting President Sam Rainsy. These individuals have pledged to return to Cambodia next month to reinstate democracy in their home country despite mounting threats against them. We met with that group and their, or, their goal is to restore democracy and to show up November 9th in Cambodia. They've got three, three scenarios to what's going to happen to them. One is they can be banned from entering the country. One is they can be arrested immediately. And three is they could face death. So if you're faced with that, if it's your choice, and those are your options, if you know if you return to a country, and somebody says if you come back, you'll be either banned from coming in, you'll be arrested, or you'll be put to death, how many of us would be willing to go back and these people that are going back, it wasn't just Sam Ramsey. There was probably 10 people in that room. These people are laying their life on the line to uphold the 1991 Paris Peace Treaty that said democracy will be in Cambodia, that the people of Cambodia deserve freedom and liberty and a democratic form of government. These people are the founding fathers of that country because when I look at the founding of America, our founding fathers stood up against Great Britain. And they laid their lives on the line for freedom and for liberty. 
And so these people are going back. Sam Ramsey in that group. And I can't be more proud of them for their bravery and selflessness. They will be revered as the founding fathers and mothers of freedom in their country, along with all the other people that stand with them. The future of Cambodia is dependent on Hun Sen's response to this delicate situation. It is my hope, along with many others, that Hun Sen chooses to avoid conflict and instead honor the 1991 Paris Peace Accord and engage with opposition members in a peaceful manner. Regardless of his choice, I will continue to work with my colleagues to ensure that the Paris Peace Accord and democracy are no longer undermined in the great country of Cambodia. And if we don't stand up to agreements that we make, if countries don't honor that, why have an agreement? You know, if we don't have agreements that we can honor and uphold, you get chaos, you get a breakdown of the rule of law, you get authoritarian rule. And that is why this is so important that we carry through. In this bill, I truly believe the Cambodia Democracy Act will pass the Senate and get signed into law. Because it's... You know, we are so blessed in this country. We're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But the one thing that does stick out, that stands up over and over again, is we can have a voice of dissent. We can be on different sides of the aisle. And we know tomorrow we're still going to have freedom and liberty in this country. That's something everybody in the world deserves. You know, if you believe like... <laughs> got a little prop here. <laughs> This is our Declaration of Independence, and it's the Constitution. The whole thing, on a bridge, this is it. I think everybody would agree this is not an epic in volume, right? But yet, it's an epic in ideology of what free men and women can accomplish <coughs> if there is rule of law, and people follow that. And in our country, in our religion, it says our rights come from a creator, not from government. And that government's instituted by we the people. We give our consent to that government so that we can be free, that we can choose in self-determining as long as we live within the parameters of the law. It's not given to us by a dictator. We're not blessed by an authoritarian ruler. We're blessed by our God-given rights. And that's what's on the line here. And that's why we stand strong with anybody that will be willing to risk everything to protect and preserve liberties and freedom. And so for the Cambodian people, stay strong. Do not back up. We are with you, and we're going to stand strong. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's hear it one more time. Pretty much coming to the conclusion. I know that um, Sonora Prom wanted to address people for just three minutes. He has something very important to say. Thank you, Congressman. I try to remind everybody here how we start the, Cam the Cambodia caucus. I said, if you remember, uh, Congressman Norman Paul, yes. your carpet may be worn out because I get into your office too often. A lot <laughs> one, one thing that we forgot to mention, when we started the Cambodia America Alliance, I was then chairman. Uh, I talked with this uh, Congress lady, Congress lady, uh, chairman of the uh, Vietnamese caucus and she said I'm sorry that uh, I already chairman of the Vietnamese caucus why don't you talk to Logan Paul and Ed, and Ed Royce that's how we start and then I talk with him I talk with Ed Roy I talk with Ted Yoho I talk with everybody and then everything start moving and then how the caucus start. 
I, I just want to remind everybody is that we forgot one person to, to, to die is Congressman Ed Royce. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to remind everybody. And another thing that I try to remind us, the Cambodian, we, Cambodian, 99% of us confused. Confused what? Confused, we, they believe that all the country can come and help us. Absolutely wrong. They come and help the democracy in Cambodia. They are not coming to help us. It's up to us to work among ourselves. It's not up to anybody. Okay. So what is so difficult for Hun Sen to release Camp Sokha? It's so simple. So the EVA will retain, the GSP will retain, the Cambodian people can work together. Some Ramsi don't have to die or don't have to go to jail. What's so wrong, Mr. Hun Sen? It's so, so easy. So it's up to us, Cambodian. There is nobody else can help us. We, the Cambodian, like the congressman uh, that you all was saying, we American, we the people, we the one who can solve our problem. Thank you for your listening, and I hope you listen well. everybody on behalf of uh, my colleague Steve Shabbat, the other co-chair and our uh, author of the uh, Cambodian Democracy Act, uh, Congressman Yoho, thank you all for coming. We are with you. We are going to fight for democracy and freedom in Cambodia. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. We, the Cambodian, we have to say thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I came from Canada. You're from Canada? Uh, to hear you here. Thank you. Yes. I'm honored. Yeah. Okay, Congressman, uh, can you elaborate a little bit about Rang Sam Rang Si return to Cambodia? Yes. Uh, what happened if uh, he could not return, or if he can return, what's happening there? Well, you know, as I think as Representative Yoho mentioned, there are, you know, either Mr. Rangsi is going to be respected by the Cambodian government, allowed to come, if, if the Cambodian government wants to wants to support democracy, wants to support the rights of opposition parties, or they could ban him from or landing, or they could, um, uh, or they could injure him or hurt him. We hope that the Cambodian government stands up for democracy, understands that it made a pledge and it was a signature to have open, free, and fair elections, which they have not had. Uh, and we urge the Cambodian government, we urge the government to protect Mr. Rains, Sam Rainsy, that and to allow the people come. They're not there to do anything but to express their right to be the part of the leadership of the, of, of the, of the opposition party. We're not here to take sides and to pick which party should win. That is up to the Cambodian people to choose which party and which government they want. We do not support the Cambodian 
uh, government re taking away the rights of the Cambodian people to freely choose the party that they want. We want the government to release Kem Soka and to allow Sam Rainsy to speak. And then we hope we, the next election will be free and fair and they will, there will be free election. If not, we will continue to hear to, in the United States to look at why should we give Cambodia extra protections for, for, uh, uh, for their goods? Why should we eliminate all the tariffs? Why shouldn't we put sanctions on them? We don't want to do that. We want to be the ally of the Kim. But if they do not allow for free and fair elections, if they do not release Kim Soka, if they do not allow Sam Rainsy to come and come to the country, we will continue to move forward here in the United States with our partners throughout the world to put pressure on Hun Sen to allow for the democracy that he promised and now is taking away. This now is a symbol of peace, like Paris Peace Accord. So, uh, should Cambodian um, politicians uh, come together and uh, discuss debate or the, what? The, the, the Cambodian coalition, the government, should they come together? We have seen here today in this room, which was very positive, people who support Mr. R the CNRP USA and CNRP of America. Both sides were here represented, both came together. We hope that they will continue to work together so that we will see democracy return to Cambodia and to see a real opposition party. That's up to them to decide whether they want to or not. I think there was a very good sign today that both sides were represented here. How about the uh, Prime Minister Hun Sen and uh, Sam Rang Si or Kam so -ka? Could they possibly uh, negotiate or dialogue? Is that too late now? We, we, what is your recommendation? Well, we think the time is right now for the, the Prime Minister to understand that uh, the forces of democracy cannot be denied. People want the right to choose their own government, and you can't just take it away. Uh, and that uh, Sam Rainsy or Kim Soka, both of them, they represent the people of Cambodia. The Cambo and uh, Hun Sen should not be afraid of that. If the P if if he should have a free and fair election, if his side wins the support of the people, he should be the leader. If if either Sam Rainsy or Kem Soka or coming together, if they if they have the support of the people, they will be the leader. What the United States wants to support, though, is democracy. We're not here to pit which person. We're here to support democracy and to say we will do whatever we can to further democracy in Cambodia. When is a possible time that the uh, Democracy Act 526, HR 526 will be passed? And is well, there any clue? Well, it has been passed out of the House of Representatives. I mean, in the Senate, the House. Well, I can't speak for the Senate. You will have to go to see Mr. McConnell and say, please take up. This bill will pass the Senate if Mr. McConnell sets a date for the vote. I think there are tremendous advocates for democracy in the Senate, just as there are here in the House. The question is, Mr. McConnell has, not, has decided not to take up any bills from the House of Representatives. So we're hoping this is a bipartisan bill that has support unanimously from both sides. We are urging Mr. McConnell to take it up. But we have no control over what Mr. McConnell does. Last point is about the Trump administration as a signatory country. Now is the 28th anniversary of Paris Peace Accord. How can um, Trump administration uh, involve with the, well, with the situation in Cambodia now? Well, I think he can speak out and support and, and say that the administration will supports democracy in, in, in throughout the world. And so the, what we'd like to see is the Trump administration encouraging Mr. McConnell to take up the vote, take it up and have a vote. You will find that it is one of the few things in Congress that unites Republicans and Democrats. That is, democracy in Cambodia brings us together, just as we hope it brings the Cambodian people together. And we believe that the president should be out there supporting it. Right now, we just want Mr. McConnell to bring up the bill, and we want the president to speak out and support the bill.
Thank you so much, Congressman Alan Lovenso, for Thank interview you. with VOA. Thank you, sir. Can I take picture with you? Yeah, <coughs> ដែលប្រិយមិត្តទៅតែបានទស្សនាជាមួយនឹងកម្មវិធីផ្សាយបន្ទាប់ទាល់